Hi there. Let's continue our march into MATLAB here. So the next thing I want to talk about is AND and OR operators. So we use these to combine logical conditions or relational conditions. Um, and let's just jump right into it. So I'm going to create a new script. Um, start out as normal. And let's say that I have a combinational condition that I want to represent. So I'm going to say x equals 4, x equals 3, and then I'm going to have a for loop that takes i from uh, 1 to 10. And then um, I want to display something when x equals 3 and when i equals 5. So with what we know already, we could do it this way. If x equals 3, if i equals 5, and then display, yes, uh, we are here. And so if I run this, I'll save it first, and let's call it uh, gav and or. <clears throat> if I run this, It'll hit once. Yes, we are here. And we'll go through all of them. Um, but it's a little, a little ugly, and it gets kind of strange to do some complicated things. What if I wanted to do? Uh, well, actually, first let's let's convert this. So let's let's put this all in one line. We want it to be if x equals three and if i equals five. So let's put them all on one line. We can use the double ampersand. Uh, oops, i equals 5, <clears throat> and that's a lot cleaner and easier to read, and then here, I went quick there, so I'll clear the command prompt again and hit run, there enough. sure enough, we are, we are here. What if <clears throat> it could be when i equals 6, or, which is the double uh, vertical bar, or i equals, sorry, i equals 5, or i equals 7. So <clears throat> I can hit run and we hit it twice. This is a little misleading though because it looks as though x equals 3 and i equals 5. <clears throat> we, we're thinking of it this way as in uh, these, two, these two expressions being um, implicitly together and x must be equal 3. But because of precedence, order of precedence, excuse me, operator precedence, um, it's actually doing it this way. x is equal to 3 and i is equal to 5, and this whole condition has to be met, or i is equal to 7. Let me just um, take these off and I'll show you what I'm, what I'm getting at. So if I say x is now equal to 4, then <clears throat> and then run this, we would think that it wouldn't run at all because x is equal to 4 and uh, but actually it runs once because of that implicit grouping so we don't want it to run once we want to group these together so that way this is evaluated first or excuse me this is evaluated as a unit is i equal to 5 is i equal to 7 or are at least one of those true and is x equal to 3 so now when we click run, it doesn't show anything at all. And we can see when we get to, uh, when we have x equal to 3, it runs twice. And if we only get to 6, so we don't quite get to 7, then it runs once. So that's what we expected, that's what we want. Um, and that is the AND and OR operators, which is the double ampersand and the double vertical bars. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, leave some comments for me if you have some things you'd like to see me do uh, as far as MATLAB goes, and we'll go from there. Thanks.